most powerful wand in the universe, made by death himself. Made of elder wood, and its core is the tail of a Thestral, 15 inches long. It is thought special magic could be channeled with this wand, such as mending other wands. Quote from Tales of Beetle and the Bard. The eldest brother, a combative man, asked for a wand more powerful than any in existence. Death granted his wish by fashioning the elder wand from a branch of a nearby elder tree, standing on the banks of a river. The eldest brother traveled to a village where a wizard whom he had quarreled lived. He sought out a duel and fought the wizard using the wand, instantly killing the latter, leaving his enemy dead upon the floor. The eldest brother walked to an inn not far from the dueling site and spent the night there, taken by his conscience and lust of the Elder Wand's power. The eldest brother boasted of his wand, gifted by death and his own invincibility. That very night, death transfigured to a murderous wizard. The unknown murderous wizard crept to the inn as the eldest brother slept, drunk from wine. The wizard slit the oldest brother's throat for good measure and stole the wand. That was when death took the first brother. Who owned the wand after Antioch Peveril? According to Xenophilius Lovegood, the wand splattered across the pages of the wizarding history with blood which led it to be called the Death Stick. Eventually, the wand made its way to Emric the Evil, an exceptionally aggressive wizard. It is said he terrorized the south of England with the wand in the early Middle Ages. It has been rumored that he had a thirst for power and violence and could even ride dragons. He engaged in a ferocious duel with Egbert the Egregious, and it is said his death was gruesome. Egbert the Egregious, it is not known how long he possessed the wand, but Dumbledore suggested he did not last long. It is thought another wizard killed him for it. Almost a century later, Dodolo was another wizard that was recorded for having the wand. Godolo wrote the famous book, Magique Most Evil. He used the wand to push the boundaries of magic. The book, Magique Most Evil, has been characterized by letting out a ghostly wail. A copy of the book was kept in the restricted section of Hogwarts, and Hermione Granger checked it out in 1997 in an attempt to gain information on Horcruxes. Godolo was killed by his own son, who locked him up in a cellar to gain ownership of the wand. Harewood, Godolo's son, owned the wand next. A little is known about him, but he ultimately lost ownership of it. Barnabas Deverell owned the wand in the early 18th century. He utilized the wand and earned the reputation as a fearsome warlock. If you don't know, a warlock is a term that's differentiated from a wizard and a witch. So a warlock is generally a term used to describe a wizard that has denoted what they have learned to dueling in all martial magic or was given as a title to a wizard who has sometimes this is used incorrectly as an interchangeable word for wizard barnabas reign of terror ended when he was murdered by a wizard loxius loxius ruthlessly murdered many people and made the name of the wand the death stick according to dumbledore many people wanted loxius dead and even loxius's own mother claimed to try to finish him off. No one is quite sure who killed Loxius because so many people wanted him dead. The following events of the Elder Wand on the timeline are a little bit not known to history, but the next wizards that possibly owned the Elder Wand, according to Xenophilius, were either Arcus or Livius. One of these two most likely owned the wand, but the next recorded owner of the Elder Wand is actually famous Miku Grigorovich. Miku bragged about his ownership of the Elder Wand to promote his wand shop, and it was stolen by the infamous Gellert Grindelwald. Grindelwald used the wand and started an uprising in the Wizarding World, but in 1945 he was defeated by the famous Albus Dumbledore. Albus Dumbledore was the wand owner for a long time, but during the Battle of the Astronomy Tower, Draco Malfoy disarmed him and became the wand's new owner. It is not true you have to kill someone to become the wand's owner. The wand, unfortunately, happens to have a bloody history. At this time, people thought a defeat was necessary for the wand to change hands, but this was not true, and Draco became the owner of the wand. 
Harry Potter became the final owner of the wand almost one year later after taking Draco's wand by force at Malfoy Manor, making him the true owner of the Elder Wand. After the Battle of Hogwarts, Harry ended the trail of the wand. Keep in mind, the book's end of the wand is different from the films. Quote, I'm putting the Elder Wand back where it came from. It can stay there. If I die a natural death like Ignotus, its power will be broken, won't it? The previous master will never have been defeated. That'll be the end of it. In the film, unlike the book, Harry snaps the wand and tosses it over the Hogwarts Bridge. Voldemort was never a true owner because he broke into Dumbledore's grave and attempted to use it, but was never the true owner of the wand. The Resurrection Stone Cadmus was given the Resurrection Stone.